going on guys and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure DX in the last part basically we got rid of the uh, we tackled the knuckles story and basically tackled the remainder of that and this part we're gonna do um, a story I'm a little iffy on Amy Rose we're gonna do Amy story I'm just gonna have to state clearly and for the record like when you get done with Knuckles' story, I feel the best of this game is behind you because um, we have Amy's story and uh, let's just say it picks off from when we meet her in uh, Station Square and um, yeah, I'm just not a fan of using Amy, but to be fair, get a load of what we have in the next story. I'm certainly gonna be bored playing this story, let's just say, but uh. Yeah, same bad sound mixing. It's a bad combination of bad sound mixing. Amy's voice being too quiet and the music being too loud. What's going on here? Anyway, so, um... Today or what? Nobody forecast a storm or anything. Yeah, it's the egg carrier. When I practice this game, I, I've said this multiple times, when I practice this game, I skip the cutscenes because I wanted to see how bad they were during the playthrough. Because let's just say this, this game does not have good cutscenes like at all. You can skip them, but they're not good cutscenes. Amy's not even in the same spot we met her in Station Square during the Sonic story. Yeah, you're not gonna outrun this robot. Let's hide in this building. That was one of Eggman's And this works! Huh. He must have captured you, and somehow you got away, right? Don't worry, I'll protect you. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. Alrighty, so let's get let's go to Amy's controls. Uh, Amy runs a lot slower than the other characters, so. Yeah, let's just say uh, she's not very fast, but uh, you can ca you can kind of flip her around with your hammer. I guess that kind of makes it slightly faster, but um, yeah, let's just say because of how slow she is, I'm not really a fan of using Amy. Let's just say, but um, but don't worry, we have an even slower character in the next story. I've been hyping that up all this play through this whole playthrough, but uh. I think we have to go to Twinkle Park, but let me just double check the, uh, double check the thing to make sure I'm right, but, um, we'll fight till we drop, and, uh, yeah, we're not able to go on the station, so, um, oh, we're supposed to go to the casino. I know we have to go to Twinkle Park at some point, but, uh, yeah, we have to go to the casino, but, um, There's Sonic. My hero. Sonic. Long time no see. Uh, uh, Amy. What's your problem? See this little birdie. 
you've seen the slightly different cutscene we saw during the Conic story. Like, that's the problem with a lot of these cutscenes, that they're recycled also. This is borderline bad sounding. I don't think there's any compression in their voices at all either. No trains are currently in service. But uh, yeah, we're at the casino area. Yeah, we cannot leave Station Square. We're done with the casino area. So I think we have to go to Twinkle Park. At least let's just look at the guide because um, just don't really like Amy's story very much. Like. Am I gonna, like, next time I play through Sonic Adventure, which might be... Yeah, we, we have to go to the Twinkle Park. I love how she even acknowledges her slow speed. Again, the sound mixing always gets brutally bad when they choose this particular song. Same with the I Wanna Fly High. What are we waiting for? Amy, wait. I give up. She's so weird. Alrighty, so we're going to Twinkle Park. I guess we can finally get Amy going, but um. Anyway, Twinkle Park, the first of the Amy levels, but, um, Amy's goal is you have to get to the balloon, but, um, you have basically a robot chasing you, so, um, basically, um, basically what you have to do is you have to, uh, we have to get rid we have to get these, uh, switches. We have to get to these switches so we can open the door. Get it. I almost took a hit right there and lost all my rings, but, um... I get the, uh... There we go. Oh, shit! I guess that was a sacrifice. I go fast, but I lose all my rings. Amy's not even going that much faster. Yeah, get used to this, by the way. She's a... Amy's a slow character compared to the rest in this game. Well, except for one character, but we'll get to him eventually. Yeah, so basically, Amy's levels, you have to get to the balloon, so, um... This is the mirror section. I forgot about the mirror section, but, um... You have to kinda, um, not get your- not lose all your rings. Then you have to kinda get to the end, the door will open. But don't worry, if you think Amy's story is pretty slow, uh, let's just say I cannot wait to show you the next story, and I've been hyping it up all playthrough, let's just say, but, um, you can, I, I, let's see, hold on. Yeah, the controls are backwards in this area, but, uh, you can, uh, hit them to kind of slow them back. Let's just say, um... Yeah, the mirror is a little confusing on the controls and all that, but, um, yeah, you can't, you can hit the robot with your hammer. Amy doesn't even have that good an attack either. She has the hammer, but, um, it's not, it's not usually, I don't think the hit detection is really that great in this game with the hammer, at least. Be careful on those, uh, platforms with the crack in them because they'll fall and you'll drop, you'll fall to your death. And unfortunately, you're not gonna get many chances at extra lives with Amy, so that's, I guess that's another problem I have with her story. I don't know, I, I could be just nitpicking, but I just do not like playing as Amy. But I've seen playthroughs of Sonic Adventure where like they say they don't like playing as Amy either. I pretty much would say that once you get past the Knuckles story, I'd say the best of this game is behind you. Okay, you wanna, um, it's best to hide in these, and, um... That way you can get away from the guard, but, uh... Alright, 
right, so we're away from the guard. You want to stay as far away from the guard as possible, so um, it, do it doesn't always work, however, when you're not a very fast character. But we're at the balloon. That's the first of the Amy stages, if I can reach the balloon. There we go. Thing, though, there's not even that many Amy levels to be fair. I think there's like maybe four or five, I think. Maybe four actually. And we're back at Station Square. Welcome to Twinkle Park. We're at Twinkle Park, but let's try something. Let's try the Twinkle Circuit once again, since we're, we have we can do it with a different character, but um I guess I can show off Twinkle Circuit with Amy, but um Amy basically is a lightweight character. I mean, like Sonic's a mid when you're playing a Sonic, it's a middle all around, a middle ground character. But uh, Amy's better at steering in this, but she's also slower. So um, yeah, you just got to pick up some rings along the way. But she's overall a better steerer. But um, yeah. So the best is uh four minutes. But um. Yeah, um, let's just say um, I don't remember. I don't even remember the time I got a Sonic, but um, because I recorded that portion a while ago. But as long as you have more rings, the faster you can go. But uh, I always went back to get those rings. And let's go to the um, yay, 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 yeah. I cannot wait also to go to this uh, go to this racing stage with a specific character, but uh, yeah, I am gonna hype up that. Uh, let's just say it's not the next story is not a very good story at all, but like I've been hyping it up all playthrough, so we only got we got a one minute lap with Amy, so uh, yeah, so it's uh the best is now like seven, so um. We have 72 rings, we're not even going that much faster. <laughs> I guess Amy's a better steerer, so that's kinda makes her bet makes her a saving grace. Um I forgot you can drift with the R button. Yeah, I guess you can in Mario Kart as well. We have 81 rings and we're, I guess that's a better lap too, but um, we'll be lucky if we even get under three minutes with Amy. Now the best is like 10 minutes, so I guess it changes per lap. Faster with 81 rings. I guess we're having a better lap three. I don't know. I think we're halfway through lap three. I don't think we're gonna get sub three minutes though. On, let's go for the sub three. Let's go for the sub three minute. 56, 57, 58, we got sub three minute. But, um, well, we got an emblem for that at least. Um, all right, so uh, let's quit that. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Anyway, so let's just leave Twinkle Park and, um, cutscene time. More bad sound mixing. Again, Amy's voice in the cutscene is just way too quiet without the, without any kind of compression.
Yeah, Amy's getting captured. We're on the egg carrier already, so I guess the one good thing about Amy's story is I guess it's quicker to go through. Now, now, calm down. There's the 102 Gamma. What do you want? Hand me the bird. Nope. Quietly hand over the bird. No, never. Why not? I don't need to tell you anything. You tell me why you want it now. Does not compute. You don't even know? I know you might hurt us both. Please, Mr. Robot. I actually do like this part if you look at it for a second. Um Just come off the Thousand Year Door remake playing that, like tech and all that. Yeah, I can kind of like relate to that. Yeah, that's what I like about E102 Gamma, especially we're going to learn this more when we get to his story. He betrays Eggman. We, can go, we have to go to the Mystic Ruins, but we'll do that in the next part. So, um, next time on... We'll do one last thing, and then we'll... We'll just do one last thing, and then we'll cut off the part. I forgot about this. You gotta get the egg... You gotta get the, uh, Sonics about the Eggmans. There we go. One, two. The gold song's worth 500, but, um... I almost hit an egg, man, but, um... There we go. I hit both the Sonic and an egg, man. Oh, shit. If you hit the egg, man, you lose points. But you gotta get 2,000. I got 2,000 right there. You get the warrior feather. You get the warrior f and uh the cutscene time. Feather. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle.
Again, having just come off the Thousand Year Door remake. Interesting time in how I'm recording this, because I've been playing the Thousand Year Door remake in my off hours. But anyway, so, um... We're gonna do this in the next part. So next time on Sonic Adventure DX, we're gonna find our way out of the egg carrier. See you guys then.